Hey guys, today I'm going to be going through the CD Science Stop Point 1.3, um, part of the lifestyle chemistry topic. Uh, this stop point basically asks us to um, explain the mixtures that can be solutions, suspensions, and colloids. That's the three things it asks for, and then colloids has you know subsections and whatnot. But um, that's the main part of the stop point. We just need to know what solutions are, suspensions are, and what colloids are. So that's what I'm going to be defining today, and that's what I'm going to try and describe to you. Okay, so solutions, what are they? First thing you need to know, and this is very important, this pretty much, you know, sets the ground for solutions. All it is, is that solutions are homogeneous. So, solutions are homogeneous. Now, when I say this, you, you're probably like, oh, what the hell? What are you talking about? What's homogeneous mean? Well, homogeneous... Genius, homogeneous means um, it means that it is uniform throughout so that means that there's it's consistent now we're, we're talking about mixtures and we're talking about solutions they're homogeneous and that means that, that all the particles inside are mixed thoroughly to a point where it's uniform which means it's same everything is same inside the solution there's no real inconsistencies that's what homogeneous is so that's all you need to know for solutions just to like get the grasp of what solutions are okay now we move to the next point which is it consists of two substances which are completely mixed with each other, evenly. Okay, and the last thing is that it contains a solute and a solvent. Uh, you should have learnt these two terms in a junior e years of science, so that's the two things you need to know. And it's it um there's it consists of solute and solvent, and has the smallest particle size out of the three types of mixtures. Okay, that sums up solutions pretty well. Now we'll move on to colloids. Now colloids, they're actually also homogeneous, but that's only if they are, you know, um, if, if they're left alone for a long period of time, they turn into heterogeneous. Uh, but if you just leave them, like at the moment, if you just had a colloid in front of you, it would be homogeneous. So it's also homogeneous. Okay, so that means it's uniform throughout. except when we leave it alone for a long period of time. Because then layers form. Okay, so the next thing you need to know is that, after we move on from that, it's particles of uh, one mixture which remain suspended among the other for long periods of time. So, th we've got particles of one mixture remaining suspended to another. That's all it is, so I'm just going to write that out. Okay, suspensions is probably the easiest of them all because that's what it's really easy to differentiate. It's really easy to find out like if it's a suspension or not. And what we really need to know is that it's heterogeneous. As I said in the other ones, homo means um uniform throughout, and in hetero, what it actually means is that it it's not uniform throughout it means that it has layers or it's 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 completely inconsistent it's very inconsistent not uniform throughout so that's that's pretty much all we need to know and then we move on to what the actual definition is which is it's a mixture of fine particles suspended in a liquid so we'll just write that down
Suspensions are the ones where you can really tell that it's a suspension because there's going to be layers. You're going to be able to find layers inside suspensions, which is you know really easy to differentiate from all the other ones. They 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 form layers and they s pretty much through settling out after some time. Okay, so now I've I've done these basic things for three of the, the things. Now I'm gonna uh, go on to something that we really need to know as well. I haven't mentioned this bit because I'm probably going to do it in the next video, but um, it's something that you should know anyways, since you've already probably covered it in school. But if not, no worries, I'll do it in the next video. And sorry if I've spelled anything wrong, but it's just I've, I'm kind of rushy at the moment. Okay. Now, let's have a look. I'm just going to draw this out. This is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to draw all this out. Okay, so a solution. We've got a colloid, and we've got a suspension. As you can see, uh, I've, I've listed it in a way that, that makes sense. It's progressive. This is a solution, which is the smallest particle size. We've got the colloid, which is in the middle, and we've got the suspension, which is the largest. So that's, that's something that y y you also need to know, that solutions are the smallest, and you've got the, the colloids, and then you've got the suspensions. So that's, that's just the order, logical order. Now I'm going to draw these out for you so you guys can get a little bit of an idea of how, how it actually looks like. So let's just assume that this is my beaker. Let's do a four three. Yep. Yep. And now I have some sort of liquid in here. Doesn't matter what liquid it is, it's just some liquid. Okay. Probably just water. Let's just say it's water. So now I'm just gonna draw a couple of circles in solution. Oops, that's too big. Um, okay, now I'm going to label these. The solute is actually this one, right? So that's the solute. And the particles of the medium are the ones just shaded in. So that's just trying to show you the size. That's all you need to pick up from these three diagrams. I'll just quickly draw the colloid now. So it's just that. These are the colloid particles. Okay, so in here, these particles, they're actually the particles of the medium. So we'll just call that particles of medium. And then we've got these particles which are the colloid particles, the suspended particles. Okay, so that's just about it, and now we'll move on to suspensions. In suspensions, as you have guessed already, it's just moving up by size. So we've got these particles, and then we've got these massive chunks of particles. Okay, that's cool. We can just figure this out easily. Now, that's, a, once again, particles of medium. And then we've got these ones, which is the suspended particles. And my bad, I, I meant to say here, it's actually not suspended. This is colloid particles. Sorry about that. Just quickly write that in. Okay, so that's the three diagrams, and that's all I'm going to do for this lesson. But in the next one, I'm, I'm going to be talking about how we can actually tell whether it's a solution, colloid, or suspension through simple observations or tests. And uh, that is also a part of one of the dot points, and you need to know this stuff. It's, it's like the bare minimum simple stuff that I'm just explaining here. I'm not going into immense detail, but um, I really do hope this helped, and I hope you go well in senior science. Thanks.